Hello everybody, so this is going to be a pretty niche video, but for the three of you out there that had the exact same problem that I did, uh, you're welcome. <laughs> so let's say you're working in Cascader and you've made your pretty animation, or in my case maybe not so pretty, I don't know, you could be the judge. <laughs> and you have your animation, you're like, great, this is perfect, except one problem. If you look in the corner here, you can see that we are facing in the wrong direction. Now, depending on your project, facing in negative Z might not be an issue. But for me, uh, exporting to Unity, uh, it most definitely is. Uh, the animation is totally backwards. Fortunately, this is very easy to fix. So we're going to head over to the rig mode. Let's pop right over. Give it just a second to load in. All right, here we go. So. The two objects that you're going to want to find are first the rig uh, root object here and also the proto union rig object. The proto union one, this is the one that actually holds uh, all the rigid bodies and stuff that Cascader needs. And then this rig right here, this is uh, your rig essentially. Okay, so we're going to want to go in and pop open our transform. And at this point, I would highly recommend taking a screenshot, which I'm doing now. I'm going to paste that in here. So now we have a screenshot of this. I'll explain why you want a screenshot later, um, but I would recommend taking one of these values in case you lose them. So now let's talk about actually inverting these. So the for if, you, it's in, uh, if your situation is similar to mine where you need to invert on the Z, you're going to want to go to your global rotation, turn that 180 to a zero, and boom. Why does it look weird, right? Uh, that was kind of my gut reaction. Uh, fear not, you also need to invert the X. Uh, that's also equally as important. Uh, well, here's the answer here. But what you're going to want to do is subtract 180, uh, or excuse me, I said that backwards, 158.284 from 180. Whoops, if I can type, here we go, 180 minus, uh, yeah, 158284, and that's going to give you the value 21.716, when you paste that in there, there you go, now we have the rotation correct, um, just uh, fixing the rotation on one axis really isn't going to change it, um, so, yeah, just bear that in mind. The other final thing that you're going to need to do is make sure the uh, global position. So the other thing that you're going to need to do is make sure that the uh, position is updated. So in my case, it's just going to be turning the 8.254 into a minus. And as soon as you hit that, there we go. Looks like our position is all good. Finally, we need to hop over to the rig root object. We're going to uh, flip this 180. Fortunately, uh, this one doesn't require any extra finesse, just a simple 180 gets the position exact. It's going to be important as well to zoom in and just double check that everything looks right. Um, compare with your screenshot as well. I'm going to do that right now just to, oops, just to kind of make sure everything lines up. Yep, looks like we're good. Now that we're good, we're going to hit generate rig. And wait a minute. Okay, here we go. And look at that. We are now facing in the positive Z direction. Isn't this great? Oh, not exactly. So uh, this is what confused me is because I was like, oh, yeah, it should be nice and easy. But the, uh, the secret to actually making it work across an existing animation is first we're going to want to undo everything, hop back to before we did any work here. Then we're going to want to select our entire timeline, just like so. Uh, we're going to want to turn interval edit on. That's also uh, equally as important. Then let's pop over to rig mode. Now that we're here, once again, that screenshot we took is going to be useful because, as you can see, well, actually, let me pop the values open for you. Because we have multiple keyframes selected, a lot of the the raw values here just kind of come up as dashes because you know you're selecting multiple across time, uh, but that's not that big of a deal. Um, this is where our screenshot reference comes in. 
So remember the values from before, so we can kind of just speed through this part. So this is going to be the minus 8.254, right? Or not, did I not type it? Dot two five four. If I can type, there we go. Okay, we got that offset set up. And of course we need to make sure that our 21 value is put in there. Good, good, okay, and it looks like we flipped it properly. Um, the Y isn't so important, but it might be important for your rig, so keep that value in mind too. Also pay attention to the X. Again, that's gonna vary per your use case. Uh, this is updated, excellent. So let's hop over here, gonna throw a 180 in there, rotate that around, and we look like we are good to go. And let's hit generate rig. And how about that? Now, we can turn off interval edit mode now. We are good to go. As you can see, the entire animation is facing in the right direction. We still have all the root motion still totally preserved. No issues there. Um, I just want to make this quick video uh, for the three of you out there that had the exact same problem that I had. Fortunately, very easy to fix. And uh, hope this helps. Thanks.